What's going on, Phoenicians of all shapes and sizes? My name is PHX787. Whoa, don't, don't freak out. <laughs> don't freak out. Uh, why am I spinning around? How are you guys doing? <laughs> I was able to get two of the shirts from the uh, Crate Drop, the Bounce, Bounce FM shirt and uh, the Rose shirt. But uh, today's commentary, we're gonna. I'm pretty much just gonna play this game, and I'm gonna talk to you about a few things that have been on my mind recently, uh, especially about living here in Japan. I know lots of you have been asking me to talk about life in Japan, and I'll be honest with you, sometimes it's extremely stressful. Like right, like what I'm going through right now. You'll probably notice the quality of some of my uploads have been a little bit shitty recently, and that's primarily because I'm going through a lot of shit right now. I mean, my classes at school are really easy, but, like, dealing with some personal issues, it's just, I don't like dealing with it. <laughs> so, we're going to talk about that for a second. We'll tell you a story. Oh, actually, first of all, look at this car. I found it on the street. It's the four-door version of the uh, Felon, or the Felon, or whatever it is. I love it. It looks great. Right now, it's not insured, though. Who joined me? Ah, uh, Velpard's in here. I invited some friends to come along with us. Uh, I don't know where Bell part is, but I'm not. I mean, I want to sell this car, but this car you can modify a lot more than the Felon. But I have the Felon GT already, and so I think having those two together look really cool. So I don't know. Right now, I'm just thinking. So for right now, let's. Uh, my voice is cracking. I don't know what car to take. Let's take my NASCAR. First of all, the first thing I will say is yes, I am going to move straight over to the uh, PS4 version as soon as it comes out. I'm going to pre-order it here in Japan, but the one thing is, I don't know if it's region locked. So if it is region locked, I'm going to have to get it in America too. So if Rockstar, I actually sent them an email and a tweet. I tweeted them out. I asked them to respond to me if uh, GTA Online or GTA for PS4 is going to be region locked. And uh, as soon as they respond to me, I'll figure that out. Actually, okay, Velpar left. We don't need to really, we don't need anybody in here. I'm just going to drive around and talk. Um, Alright, so I'm going to tell you a story about something that happened to me last week at school. <clears throat> as a lot of you guys know, I go to school here in Tokyo. I go to school. Um, at a university here, I'm not gonna say which university yet. You know, I don't want my pride. I don't want much of my private life leak being leaked out. That was a very gnarly accident. That was insane. That was insane. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> no, but like I was, um, I, I go to a school in Tokyo, and you know they teach in English, and a lot of the students are really fluent in English. But I mean, I still speak Japanese, obviously, well, I mean, to an extent. But um. A lot of the students, you know, we, there's a pretty wide gulf in uh, in my department, at least. My 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 uh, what's it called? International department. There's a pretty wide gulf between people who speak English and people who don't. And usually, uh, I'm not going to go into details because I've actually gone in, gone into details before on this issue with uh, professors, like professors not being able to handle. The different types of students at Sophia, and you know I'm having that same issue a lot. You know it's a very interesting uh, experience at my school. Okay, I just gave it away. My my school is Sophia University, so uh, yeah, don't don't stalk me, bro. <laughs> no, but it's it's very interesting, um, but at the same time, there's problems. Uh, the uh, one of the major problems I've had was uh, some of the students who are actually kind of bicultured, more or less. They they grew up in one culture and but they're Japanese. Some of these bicultured students have you know really good English skills, really good you know very outgoing personalities, but their beliefs are very Japanese. So those conflict with each other, you know. And I'm also I'm a uh, I do a lot of socio-anthropological research, especially when it comes to Japan. And a lot of my research is like, kind of like, what what are the unique qualities of Japan? And this is a very unique uh, thing that happens here in Japan. 
I'm gonna shoot this guy. Wow, I got the cops already. <laughs> now I'm just gonna steal this helicopter. <clears throat> and then some of those students, though, because they they are outgoing, like for you know, Japanese people are very very shy. You probably noticed already, but because these students are very outgoing and aren't afraid to speak their mind, which is actually you know that's good. But they still have these innate Japanese beliefs about you know purity or about um, when it comes to relationships. Japanese people are very 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 pure-minded, typically. I'm not you know I'm, I'm not generalizing. I'm just saying typically. You know, a Japanese person would not like the American way of relationships, or at least the way that I had experience with with my friends or with myself in Arizona. So a lot of times, these pe these types of people, these third cultured people who or second culture, multicultural people who had these innate Japanese beliefs. Uh, like I said, I use this term very, very loosely, so please bear with me here. Uh, they would take offense to a lot of things that I would do. And a lot of times when I would challenge, like, you know, some things that Japan does that they probably shouldn't be doing. Which is, there's a lot of things that Japan does that they, that they should not be doing. <laughs> uh, these people would actually get very, very offended. And then it would, it would cause more problems the more offended they would get. And so the main issue I, you know, so one of these students, um, I've had a lot of issues with her from the very first day I came to Sophia University, which was a couple years ago, and it, it was just very, very weird, her treatment of me. <coughs> I'm sorry, my voice is almost gone. I'm not sick, I'm just, I just uh, spent the entire day talking to people. <laughs> but, um... There was an incident last week. I was hanging out with one of my buddies, and he's also kind of like this, except he doesn't really get take offense to anything I do. He's kind of like that type of person, third culture, but very uh, Japanese-minded. Um, he take he doesn't take offense to anything at all, really. He's a really nice dude. I was hanging out with him. Uh, we were playing with my iPad. We were uh, we were playing some pool on my iPad, and. You know, probably, probably didn't know this about me, but I'm a very loud guy. You know, that's just natural for me because I, you know, I'm partially deaf in half of my, in both my ears, actually. Let's see how well I can stand up on this thing. <laughs> can I get on the uh, scaffolding down there? Maybe. But the girl, this girl comes over to me, and you know, normally if someone, if I'm being too loud, people be like, "Hey, you know, shh," kind of thing. I just fell. <laughs> But that wasn't how she, she just walked over to me. She's like, Zach, you're being loud, quiet, very, very rude to me, you know? A very, very, very rude way of talking to me. Very disrespectful, you know, and I was like, listen, you guys are being loud too. She has a loud voice as well, this chick does. So I'm like, you know, you're kind of loud yourself, but she took a lot of offense to that. Oh, I picked up that uh, the parachute. <laughs> She took offense to that, and she just kept yammering her mouth, going off on me. And then I was like, just go away and sit down. Go back to your seat and sit down. You know, don't talk to me. I told her. She picks up my iPad and then chucks it right in my fucking face. I'm like, what is your goddamn problem? I, I, that's what I said to her out loud. Like, really, really, really loud. Because I was pissed. I was like, why did you throw that shit in my face? You know? But this isn't the first time this chick has done something like that to me, you know? You know, she's a very, very offensive person. I know I shouldn't be caring about that kind of person, but like, you know, when you make a scene like that in front of a bunch of Japanese, we gotta call the sheriff. that's a very, very bad image Fuck! for both of us. Let Not just me. her, because she was yelling at me and throwing shit at me, Whoa. but because I'm part of it too, you know? And as a white guy, you're going to stick out like a sore thumb in Japan. I mean, that's just a given, right? I don't know why I just stole a mini Koopa. <laughs> but I've had, you know, this happened like on, I think it was Tuesday. Because I, I, I had a class off on Tuesday, so. No, it wasn't this Tuesday. I think it was last week. Yeah, it was a week ago last week. So I, it, was a, it was either Tuesday or Friday, I forget. But um, it was just really fucking bad. 
You're a dumbass who's crashed into that Hummer. <laughs> but like, this is the type of problem that I typically run into quite a, quite a lot here at Sophia. And, you know, I think it kind of speaks to the general consciousness of Japan as a whole. The, uh, the country, this country is very, very sensitive to outside input. You know, unless it's very positive input, they're going to be very offended by it. And that's, you know, one, one person actually, I was talking to her, this is a different girl. Um, she's younger than the girl that flipped their fucking lid at me. This is a different chick. I asked this one girl if she ever questions anything that her country does. I know Americans, you probably, we could probably speak for this ourselves. We do this all the fucking time, to the point of almost sheer ignorance, I bet you. We question America like it's nothing else. You know, that's just normal. That's how. That's what America is. That's the beauty of America. And I, I know other countries do, do so as well. I asked this question to some of my Italian friends. And some of my French friends, Spanish friends, they all responded, yes, we always question our country. I don't know why I just drove off the pier. <laughs> but these, every time I ask a Japanese person, they always say no, we never question our country. And actually the girl further came up to me and she said, you know, I get kind of offended when you question authority or when you ask questions to the professor. Remember uh, the other video I mentioned, that's the one thing that the professors at my university want us to do, especially in our department. We're supposed to question people. We're supposed to like, you know, we're not supposed to just sit there, take notes, and act pretty and stuff. Act like the model student. We're supposed to question why things are, you know? And that's the beauty of my department. I, I love my university, but sometimes the students at my school are just... I don't know. I, I really don't know. You know, it's, it's been very difficult for someone like me who's very questioning, very skeptical, a lot of you know me as a pretty staunch libertarian who obviously questions almost everything, right? And, you know, sometimes you know, I do come across a lot of times as pretty brash. But, I mean, that's just who I am. You know, that's what I've been. That's what a lot of my friends are. That's, that's, the, kind, that's the kind of people I surround myself with. You know, I like competing ideas. I like people not just agreeing and saying, okay, yeah, that's true. I want people to tell me why they think it's true, or why they think it's false. And the fact that my Japanese friends do not question anything their government does, or any other government for that matter, it's very unsettling to me. And I, I wonder why Japan's in such a rut when it comes to the economy. And I think it's just the fact that Japan's never questioned it. They've done. And so whenever they hear someone like me saying, hey, Japan should probably join the TPP, or Japan should probably uh, start having more women participate, or Japan should probably uh, stop this whole group rationality that focuses on, that does not have any focus on the individual whatsoever, or Japan should probably um, eliminate the uh, job hunting process that they currently use. I get a lot of people saying to me that they were offended. And the only thing I have to say to that is, why? I'm telling you what's going on. I, I've done research on this shit. You know, my professors, they're ethnically Japanese and they can back me. They can back me up too. Why are you offended by me telling you the truth? Japan is in a bad situation with currently what, with what they have currently. But I know how they can fix it by making these changes. And whenever they hear the word changes, it's always very, very negative to see. Now maybe I need a, maybe for me to be able to get across to my Japanese friends to be a little bit more open. I don't know, maybe I have to find a more pragmatic approach. And that's where you guys come in. I know a lot of my subscribers are very, very, uh, a lot of you true Phoenicians out there. I love calling you guys my true Phoenicians. I love you, I know you guys, I love you guys, but... I don't know why I'm saying that. <laughs> no, I know a lot of you guys are very knowledgeable about Japan too. And I want your input. How do I express, you know, my concerns about Japan to the Japanese? 
And furthermore, how do I make these connections with the Japanese so they're not offended? And also, I'm able to like maintain friendships and have people not throwing iPads up at this. <laughs> but that's what's been concerning me, you know. And the one cool thing about Sophia University, Waseda University, uh, International Christian University, Temple University of Japan, uh, Keio University, all these really international universities, they have our, they have these Kokusai Kyoyo Gakubu departments, like mine. And they, these professors are extremely demanding. They're extremely challenging. But this is actually for the Japanese people. It's challenging for them. Because they've never experienced anything like this in their whole lives. For me, it's very easy. This is the kind of stuff I went to high school with, you know? I learned this stuff when I was in high school. I don't know. Maybe I'm at... Maybe I'm talking to the wrong people. Maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree. Maybe I should be talking to people at Todai, where the vast majority of the government people come from. But at the same time, Mr. Abe is not from any of the big six universities. But, he's currently sucking ass right now. He's not doing anything good. His, his ministers suck. His new ministers absolutely are horrible. So, I don't know. I think Abe's done. But anyway, that was 16 and a half minutes of your life wasted with me ranting. <laughs> But I'm actually very curious to see what you guys think about this. It's a very touchy subject. This whole uh, introducing new ideas to a uh, society not used to hearing any form of opinion whatsoever. Also, what do you think about that chick that flipped her fucking lid at me and threw her threw my iPad at my face? I mean, I, I, that was she's a very offensive chick. Like she's extremely offensive. I'm not talking about like in the good way, the funny way. I'm talking about in the God awful, please, I don't want to deal with this chick anymore, way. Now, I'm not giving any names, I'm not going to tell you guys what her name is, I'm not going to have you guys, uh, a lot of you guys already know what happened, if, if you're my friend and you're my subscriber and stuff like that. But I don't know, I want to talk to the internet about this. And the internet is sometimes a great treasure trove for awesome people. So, tell me what you guys think. And uh, that's it for now. That's my ranting for now. I think I'm stuck up here. Come on, get back in the water. Get back in the water. Get back. What, what the fuck am I riding on? Come on, get back in the water. <laughs> yes, there we go. <laughs> anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys listening to me. You guys are always true Phoenicians. I love you guys. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do a lot more of these. Um, commentaries and me talking about living in Japan. But for now, uh, this is PHX787. Take it easy, guys.